What color is his hat? Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to configure your controls in uh, the Taito Type X emulator. Um, basically this was an add-on for HyperPi PC and I had I had never used it up until this morning. This is an awesome emulator. Street, Street Fighter 4, uh, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Um, I, I'm, I mean I can't wait to get my X Arcade Tank Stick because of this game. Uh, so let's get right into the tutorial here um, and if you guys already have your Taito Type X set up uh, maybe you're not familiar with the controllers this was a viewer request so you do have to do it for each game but it doesn't take that long and it's actually fairly um, fairly simple to do so go into your hyper PC folder and go into where you have your Taito Type X ROMs so miners ROMs TTX and what you want to do is go into the folder for the game you want to do your controllers for. So because I really like Super Street Fighter uh, 4 Arcade Edition, uh, this is 2012 version, so I'm just going to go in there. And you'll see typex underscore config, and it's an application file. Now, this is time sensitive. It's going to auto ask you for your buttons, and I'm going to help you go through it here. So let's do it for this game. So first you'll see Mahjong panel, click no. So just click N, four way joystick, N, low res monitor, N, and then hit one, hit enter. Now press up, down, left, right, button one. So you're gonna have to figure out what buttons you want. I haven't, I haven't figured out exactly what mine are. I'm just doing one, two, three, four, five, six, player one start, I press start, coin, select, for service, uh, I don't push anything. If you want to have a service button, that's up to you. I just let it go through. And then you'll see for player two. So it's just waiting, and I'm not pressing anything. So it is time sensitive. If you don't press anything after a couple seconds, it's going to skip to the next button. Um, I don't have two joysticks hooked up right now. I'm using my PlayStation 3 controller, which uh, emulates a 360 controller. And that's pretty much it guys this is how you do it for each game um, you do want to do the very last button which is the quit button and we're, we'll get there uh, once this rolls through now I use my R3 button for my for my quit button I use it uh, my right thumbstick like a button I press it in for the exit button so player button six or player two button six um, but it's a fairly simple process, uh, a lot easier than some, but not as user friendly as most. So you can have a button for test if you want. The last one's coming up, which is quit. I'm going to press R3. Boom. So now what I'll do is go to Hyper PC. And I am going to mute. Taito Type X, and this one, it, it, for some reason the wheel says 2012, but it's not because it says 2010 on the bottom. This is the 2012 edition. And this this game may very may well uh, <laughs> may very well be uh, my first live stream uh, playing and uh, checking it out. Can't wait to get the arcade tank stick, uh, X arcade tank stick. If there's any background noise, uh, sorry guys, I got my propane heater rocking in the garage right now. It's uh, damn cold outside. So they take a bit to load. It's like MAME, but I don't I don't mind waiting like, you know, 20 seconds or however long it's taken. So let's test our buttons. I use select for coins. Let me turn that down. Press start to start. And we'll do arcade mode. 
Now my buttons aren't configured exactly how I want them. I'll have to figure out which one I want to use for button one, two, three, four, five, and six. But uh, we're up and running, so I'll choose Ken. And I'm just going to get into a little bit of game here and then I'll exit out. And we can set our buttons for another game and then that'll be the end of the video. Wow, I'm doing horrible. There we go. So it runs laggy on this laptop of mine, but it runs fine on, on my other PC. And then I'm going to press my R3. And we are back in Hyperpie PC. So if we were to launch another game, um, I don't have my buttons configured, but let's do King of Fighters XII, so King of Fighters 12. So I'm pressing select, I don't have any buttons configured. So I'll have to press escape because I don't have any buttons configured. We'll get out of HyperPi PC. Let's do the buttons for that. So we're going to go into ROMs, TTX, and King of Fighters 12, and type X underscore config, N, N, N. Enter, up, down, left, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, start, coin, and now we'll wait. Wanted to get this uh, video out there to help the viewer um, who requested. Now, Examu, I don't have any ROMs. <laughs> I downloaded the Red ROM uh, pack, but there was no ROMs in it. So, uh, or Examu, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, so, I have not been able to test that one yet, but for Type X, uh, this is working perfectly for me. And like I said, like as you're seeing, it's not that hard to do. It's just time sensitive, so I'm going to figure out what buttons I want for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 um, at a different time. Getting ready for my son's birthday party today, so don't really have time to dive into this too much. So the last one's going to be exit, and I'm going to use my R3 button again. There we go. And let's run it through HyperPi PC. I just type X, King of Fighters 12. Loading complete. Uh, some games load faster than others. Like, you know, this, the Street Fighter takes a little bit longer to load than, say, King of Fighters. But uh, I can't wait to rock that. And here we go. My uh, coin button's working, start button's working. So we do have Japanese, um, which doesn't bother me any. I'll just do time trial here. I am not familiar with this uh, at all. And let's just make sure that all the buttons are working perfectly, as they should be.
Yep, there we go. So it's, it is choppy on this laptop, but it's working. Exit. Boom. Uh, so there you go guys, uh, this is how you set up your controls for the Taito Type X emulator. You will have to do it for each and every ROM, um, but totally worth it because these games are pretty awesome. Um, the, the Street Fighter ones for me are the ones I'm going to stick with, uh, but you might like King of Fighters and some other ones that are on here, Giga Wing and so on and so forth. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.